Hello, this is KC from KC Grandpa Tech, where we talk tech, tech reviews, tech solutions, and all kinds of tech. Well, listen, I don't know about you, but I've always wanted to try 3D printing. And I got the bug one day, just probably like you did. What? And I saw this ad on the Gufu Cube 3D printer for only $99 on Indiegogo. And a crowdfunding, and I said, well, <clears throat> I wanted to try and get into it and try learning about it. I had no idea what I bought it, what I was doing. So, it came today in the box. So, I'm going to unbox it, put it together, and we're going to try it out, see if it's any good. So, hang on. Uh, and before we get started, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit that little like button. And uh, we'll first uh, put it together, and then we'll probably do one where we're printing it. Hey, hang on, and let's get to it. Okay, so one of the first things I noticed when I got the box out is, I just open oh, before you open the box, a lot of people have talked about this unit and they didn't see an app for it. I didn't see this. So there seems to be an Apple app and a Google app. I don't see it, a driver for Windows yet. Um, basically, it only until the instructions of what the parts are and on the outside of the box. So let's continue and take a look at what we have here. So the first thing I noticed that the parts are listed in order to put them together. Can you see? I don't know if you can see that. There we go. One, two, three. So let me get them out of the box and let's put them together. So every part that I've taken out of the box is numbered. So that's one. Uh, this is two. And it goes into here. And then this screws. into this. Now, same thing, the th third part is that everything is labeled nicely. I have to say that from, at least from the point of view of being easy to assemble, this is not like some of them that I've had to deal with. So, And it says basically to put it like so. And that's your cross arm. And if we look in here in the back, there's a plug that says number three. So, so far, it's coming together very easily. It might be a little, a little more tricky. All right, let's put the next part in. Now we have the print head, number four. And again, it seems like everything in this machine, at least from the point of being, being easy to put together, seems to be push it in. Pop it in place make sure, until you feel it lock. And again, <clears throat> it's even labeled on the back here where it pops in. So far, if a, what is that expression they use? Oh, so simple a child could do it. Now, lastly, <clears throat> it comes with two ways, three ways, you, three more things you have to do, I should say. One of them is you can hook it up to your computer directly using USB. And standard USB connector, not USB-C.
and then your power is right here you can see it so now what's interesting about it so far so again it's they say it's very tiny and it is tiny I don't think you could do large prints with it but again I bought this for the purposes <clears throat> that I could learn a little bit about it and it was one of those impulse buys that's all your connections over here you have your cutter and your input for your cord goes into the head and it has a spool holder which is adjustable to the type of spool that you are using whether it be a large spool small spool and I guess that would go over here so I'm gonna go and try to hook this up and uh, we'll get back to that now after this <clears throat> I loaded the app <clears throat> and I can put some paper in there and if you can as you can see it is you can hear it it is loading let's see if I can get a better look So after everything, I got to tell you, I saw red. If you've noticed, my shirt's even red. How can I put this to you? Assembly, very easy, putting it together. The app, absolutely horrible. Even to locate it, okay? They, it's not on the Google Store. You have to go to a separate site. You have to download it from there. It's not anything like they advertised. Now, what even is worse, okay, is that they told you you could plug in from the USB into your computer and and use it from there. The problem is there is no Windows driver. I'm telling you, there is no Windows driver. Any of your 3D programs, your AutoCAD like that, do not recognize this printer. You cannot use it. Windows will detect it, but doesn't know what it is. So I tried using the app. And as you saw, as I tried to print something, it made a hell of a lot of noise. Going back and forth. <laughs> And what came out wasn't exactly what I would call the greatest print. That Now, it may need some adjustment on that end. I have to play with it 
and but there is no help there is no support the app is basically you know very sketchy very iffy it wants to connect to your pictures and your contacts and everything like that which i will not let it do you know there's no reason for an app that's printing to be it to be connecting to any of my information on my phone so from that point i have to give the gopro cube two thumbs down if i had four thumbs i would give it four thumbs down i would do not recommend it maybe in the future they'll come up with better apps it'll actually be able to be used with windows and until now don't waste your money this is casey from casey grandpa tech out don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel and i'll be reviewing some more products in the near future and you have a great day